Hey everyone, welcome to the Daily Word. I'm, I'm really glad that you've joined me. And for our Daily Word, we're going into the Gospel of Mark, chapter 11. I want to share verses 24 and 25 with you. And uh, so if you would, hear the word of the Lord. I tell you, you can pray for anything, and if you believe that you've received it, it will be yours. But when you're praying, first forgive anyone you are holding a grudge against so that your Father in heaven will forgive your sins too. So now, Jesus had cursed the fig tree on their, uh, on their way into Jerusalem, and um, it was a, a prophetic action, a, a prophetic symbol. It, it, it was uh, an, indict, an indictment of the, the religious leaders, in particular of Israel in general, for uh, their failure to bear fruit for the kingdom of God. Now, Peter is it's really thinking um, exclusively about, uh, about power, power on a sort of a physical level, a, a worldly level. So when they come by the next day and that fig tree that Jesus had cursed was, was withered, he was impressed with the Lord's power. Now, Jesus takes the opportunity here though to point to, first of all, the, the power of prayer, the power of God brought to bear through the prayers of, uh, of the faithful. And um, so a prayer of, of faith is about trusting in the power and the responsiveness uh, of God, uh, even, even to move whole mountains, that God has the power, the ability to do it, and that we, we trust that God could, that God is responsive to us. Uh, but then, and I, I think this is so, so amazing, it, it, Jesus is just, he is such a good, good teacher, uh, such a good rabbi. He, he is such a, a, a wise and, and good savior. Um, he kind of sneaks up on their hearts uh, as he does through the word on, on all of us as we, as we seek him in his word, he sneaks up on their hearts and they're, they're so interested in power, uh, in, in miracles that Jesus sneaks up on their hearts and brings before them the greatest miracle. Uh, that is the, the miracle of our forgiveness. You see the, the heart that prays, um, it, Listen, the heart of faith that prays is not a heart that prays for spectacle, that, uh, that wants power just in itself and for itself. The, the, the prayer of faith is really um, the prayer of the one who has known the love and the forgiveness of God in Jesus Christ, the love and forgiveness of Jesus poured out on the cross it is the heart that's been radically transformed by the grace and, and the power of God and, and that now can forgive because we have been forgiven. And so Jesus says, yeah, your prayers, if you pray in faith, can move mountains. But hey, first, <laughs> before you go trying to move mountains, before you set your heart on the exercise of power, seek after God for the most miraculous power. That is, seek his forgiveness. Offer, give, give forgiveness in Jesus' name. And so to me, uh, I, I feel like today is a calling, first of all, to trust our forgiveness in Jesus Christ, to ask for forgiveness and to trust what the word says, that if we confess our sins, that God is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. So pray for forgiveness in faith. And pray also, friends, let us pray for a loving and forgiving heart like our Lord, that God would make manifest that miracle in us. And may it be so in Jesus' holy name. And now, friends, uh, I need to tell you that... Um, We've, we've come to uh, our summer break now. Uh, as uh, you may remember, last summer we, we took a break so that I could have some time to reflect and, uh, and to get into God's Word and, and to be fed and to be poured into. And um, 
it's really necessary as, uh, as we pour ourselves out uh, to receive from the Lord. And um, so uh, from, from today um, until August 15th, we're going to be on our summer break from the daily word. I, I do want to encourage you to stay in the word, though, to continue to seek uh, the Lord, to seek his face and his word. Continue on our, our scheduled readings. Continue praying and journaling about what God's putting on your heart. Uh, in, uh, in our life groups, want to encourage you to continue to engage. I know that the summer schedule is a little rough and, and it's kind of here and there, but stay in touch with each other. Share insights from the scriptures with each other. And, uh, and of course, continue in worship. Uh, we, we, of course, will be continuing in, in our Sunday worship. Um, and again, we'll be back for the Daily Word on August the 15th. And so I'll look forward to being back with you then for the daily word and God bless you and keep you.